I'm Jeremy Gray, and I'm one of the artistic directors of Bampton Classical Opera. This summer at Bampton, we have, uh, very much according to our tradition, another operatic rarity from the 18th century, Stephen Storis's Li Sposi Malcontenti, which we're singing in English as Bride and Gloom. It's a cheerful comic opera with a rather sort of sharp satirical bite to it. It concerns, as the title Bride and Gloom might suggest, a rather unhappy married couple, Casimiro and Eugenia, whose recent marriage really hasn't taken off at all. Written in Vienna in 1785 and was commissioned by no less a patron than the great emperor Joseph II, possibly as a result of a soft spot that Joseph had for Stephen's sister, Nancy Storis, who was uh, a lead soprano in the Italian opera group in the capital city. Nancy was still really only a teenager, her brother only a couple of years older, and this was his very first opera, and a remarkable piece for a novice composer. It's full of dynamic and exciting music, wonderful arias, uh, but in particular the ensembles, and a Bampton really one of the things that we excel in, I think, is putting together a cast of superb young actor singers uh, who work together to create really exciting ensemble music. For this production, we've got a lot of Bampton favorites returning. Sopranos Aoife O'Sullivan and Jenny Stafford, tenors Adam Tunnicliffe and Gavin Ring, They've uh, all performed at Bampton in the past. Baritones Arthur Bruce, Robert Davis, and soprano Caroline Kennedy. Returning to conduct us again after a wonderful success two years ago with the Salieri Opera, which actually historically is linked with the Storis, uh, we have conductor Anthony Krauss. Bampton performs at some wonderful venues. Open air in the Deanery Garden in Bampton, a really glorious spot. Uh, always a great favourite with our audiences who come and enjoy the music and also bring their picnics. And then later in the summer at Western Burt School in Gloucestershire, a fantastic Victorian pile of a house with Grey One listed gardens. And then in September here in London in the great concert hall that is behind me on these steps, St John Smith Square. Of course, one of the most historic and best known of London's concert halls.